Hello everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're talking about the paused push-up. So, um, we've, we've talked about the eccentric push-up. That's where you're lowering, you're emphasizing the lowering portion of the rep. Uh, the eccentric portion being the lowering portion. There's some other parts of it though. Um, so muscle contractions are either lowering, holding length, or shortening. The lowering is the eccentric. Today we're going to talk about the isometric, the holding. So it's kind of like just a normal push-up, but you're going to put a little hold in the bottom to kind of kill your momentum, and then you're going to push up out of it. So I set up the same way. <sighs> Tuck, push my neck away. Come on down, hold, push back up. <sighs> Come on down, hold, push back up. Now you can manipulate the hold. You could hold for a really long time if you wanted to. And if you're actually trying to train that isometric portion, you're probably not doing a whole lot of the moving part. You're probably just setting up in the bottom and holding for a long time. Maybe you're loading it too. Maybe somebody's putting a plate on your back or standing on your back, depending on how strong you are. Uh, don't try that. <laughs> Unless you're really confident. Uh, people are heavy. <laughs> um, pause push-ups though. One of the, I guess, the best reasons to use them is if you're not, you're just not keeping the control that you need, especially in your midsection, uh, it's a good way to just kill the momentum. I have a lot of people that I'll train that will just rush through reps. And when they rush through it, they don't think about what they're doing. They can't feel when they do it wrong, so they mess it up. Um, so implementing that little pause helps you sit there and think, am I in the right position? Oh, I did let my shoulders creep up. Now I gotta, I gotta figure something else out. Okay, I'm gonna try to set them down now. It just gives you that chance to think through that monologue. Um, yeah, pause push-ups.